Justin Fields from the Bears to the Steelers. And guess what? Trey Lance ended up fetching the 49ers more in trade return than Justin Fields ended up fetching the Bears in trade return, even though Fields played a whole heck of a lot more in Chicago. Remember, the 49ers got a fourth round pick from the Dallas Cowboys for Trey Lance, and they offloaded a ton of salary, over $6 million in salary. For the Bears, they got a sixth round pick that could conditionally move up to a fourth rounder depending on playtime, but it's probably, I don't think it's gonna work out for that to move up to a fourth rounder because Russell Wilson is the starter in Pittsburgh and Justin Fields just isn't a very good quarterback. Even Russell Wilson in his diminished state is a better QB than Justin Fields. So in all likelihood, that playtime incentive will not be met for Justin Fields. And we're gonna see Trey Lance fetch the biggest return out of any of these first round quarterbacks from 2021 that were dumped. Mac Jones went to Jacksonville for a sixth rounder. Still amazing that Jerry Jones was willing to pay a fourth rounder to pick up Trey Lance. That was a coup for the 49ers when all was said and done. Other 49ers related news, their former linebacker, Oren Burks, big time specialist for them. He is signing with the Philadelphia Eagles deal worth $2.5 million. So 49ers had stacked up in the linebacker room. They were not gonna bring Oren Burks who did not have a good Super Bowl in coverage. They were not gonna bring him back at that price. Still can't get over it. Sometimes it feels that the NFL scripts this kind of stuff. We get to see Russell Wilson and Justin Fields on the same team in Pittsburgh and Trey Lance somehow, some way, met at the 49ers a fourth round pick. Fields a sixth on his way to Pittsburgh. Mac Jones a sixth on his way to Jacksonville. I meanwhile, guess where I'm going? I'm on my way to San Francisco. Gonna have some good food. It's probably gonna be on the channel soon. We'll talk to you in a bit.